Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I went to the Goodwill bins yesterday and I went to a couple Goodwill um, retail stores. So I have a little bit of a haul for y'all, haul for y'all. And I wanted to say, I know a lot of people said they wanted an update on the consignment video that I last posted. So I'm gonna give you an update on that. And that's what this video is. I just wanted to get a video in for Christmas because I'm not posting that much because I'm not sourcing that much. And I've just started actively listing on Poshmark again. So that's where we're at. Anyway, so let's start with the consignment first. I don't have numbers for you right now because I wanted a full month of December. So I will come back and update numbers later. But I wanted to say that it's going very well. I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm averaging about eight dollars per item which is fabulous if it's items i'm getting at the bins so you know i'm kind of learning that it needs to be bins only or if i get it from a like a retail goodwill it needs to be able to be something that she can ask enough money for for me to justify the cost and that i think will sell quickly over there so it is just another source of income which is great i'm kind of learning you know what to send what not to send um I honestly like I love fashion and like I go shopping a lot so I kind of know trends very well so it's not hard for me to know what to send it's more like harder for me to find the items at the bins to send <laughs> so that's what I'm dealing with um I went to the bins I only spent $15 because I was being so picky and my bins here lately has just been so crowded every time I go I'm sure, you know, a lot more people are finding out about the bins, which is great. You know, it's definitely something you got to have to run a business in reselling. But yeah, it's just been crowded and a lot of competition. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of making it work. I've created a good relationship with the consignment store owner. You know, I was very, very honest with her about where I get my items and what I need out of certain items. I just wanted to be upfront, honest, and have a good relationship. I wanted to let her know, like, if you are looking for something, let me know. I will go find that item for you. Like, I can do it. We got it. So that's where we're at. She's kind of given me like a permanent appointment. I can come in whenever I have a load. So that's really, really nice. And I'm happy about that. Okay, I'm gonna get into this haul. Wait, I haven't put on makeup in like a week, guys, so. I'm just first going to tell you about this because it's right here in my face. I paid $3.99 for this at the regular Goodwill. It was kind of just over there by like the bedding for some reason. This is a Disney Store Flounder Children's Costume. And it last sold on eBay for $245. Granted, that person had it dry cleaned. So I'm actually going to have it dry cleaned because I want to maximize what I can ask for it. It's not a bad shape at all. There is like a little bit of dirt, probably from being at Goodwill to be honest. But if I get it dry cleaned, I'm gonna ask $200 for it. It's apparently really hard to find a ray or whatever. So I don't know if I'm gonna list it immediately. I'll probably, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I feel like the person who's gonna buy this it's probably going to be a family who are dressing up as the Little Mermaid and they're going to Disney World and somebody's got to be flounder. <laughs> I don't think it's a popular costume people are looking for, but I think it will complete like a family set. So I do think it'll sell eventually. Okay, so I have a few more things from the retail Goodwill stores and then I'll show you the outlet haul. So... I got this holding horses dress, which I've actually sold this dress already. So that's why I grabbed it because I've already sold it. I know it'll sell. And I loved this dress so much the last time I grabbed it. I just thought it was so cute off the bottom. So yeah, this one's a size four. I don't remember what I sold it for last time, but I do believe it was in the $30 range. So I'm good with that. The next thing I got was, okay, this is a Mud Pie New Attacks dress. Some boutique donated this and I actually bought four of them. 
I sent three over to the consignment shop because Nematag Boutique stuff does really well over there, so that's why I sent it. And I kept the larger size, which is a medium, to put on my Poshmark, which it is over there right now. I think I have it listed for $16. Okay. I got a breath. <laughs> I just drank hot chocolate. We're watching the Grinch musical. Okay, this I actually bought for myself. I might keep it. I just really like it. It's an American Eagle piece. It's like this, and then it has like a frayed bottom. I don't know. I just think it's really cute. Kind of edgy, but comfortable. I'm going to try it on. If I don't like it on, then I'm going to list it. We'll see. Okay, and then a few more pieces, and then that's that for that. Okay, so I've been really, really into, like, vintage streetwear, um, athletic wear, that kind of stuff, like 80s, 90s polo, you know, like that kind of stuff. I think it's really trendy right now. And ever since I sold these <laughs> Adidas logo pants for $200 on eBay, I've been, like, searching all the vintage athletic wear, really getting, like, educated on it because I don't want to pass up on good stuff. So this is a 90s, actually this was from, it says it somewhere, I think it's like 2004. 2002. This is a 2002 Ralph Lauren Polo Sport tee. And it has like the spell out on the sleeves. It did have a little stain somewhere. I'm gonna um, soak it in some OxyClean and get it cleaned up. But I can list this on Depop for around $30. I have been selling a few things on Depop. I've actually sold two things, I think. But, like, I have, like, four things listed. That's all. So, I am looking for things that I want to put in my Depop, like that shirt. And I think I have a couple other things that I'm going to put in there. So, I'm kind of, like, trying to, you know, have a curated little store over there and kind of see how that goes. So, here's another thing for my Depop that I picked up at a regular Goodwill. It is an Air Jordan um, spell out tee. I like that it had the Jordan going from the sleeve to the other sleeve. Things like this, I just know people like. They like big, flashy, and they love their brands. Jordan's a great brand. It's in great condition. And I think I can list this for 20 to 30 on Depop. So there's that. Um, this is a... Acme and Ken, which is anthropology. Oh, something's stuck on it. Oh, there we go. Top. It's like a cropped fringe crochet kind of top. It is so cute. I love this top. I haven't listed it. I'm going to list it tomorrow. I've been like making myself list five items a day. So this is on tomorrow's little list. And then this is also getting listed tomorrow. This is by the brand. Chelsea and Violet, which I believe is sold at Dillard's. I used to love this brand when it first came out. It's been out a while. Um, it gave me like free people vibes. It was around the same price point. I don't know about the resale value, but this particular piece I was obsessed with. It's just this fringe kimono with embroidery all over it. Super pretty. It is a size small. So that's going to be listed tomorrow also. Okay, and that was, wait, one more thing. <laughs> I did pick up these little dolls. Oh my gosh, two more things. I am so sorry, guys. So I picked up these little dolls. I paid 40 cents each. They just gave me minimalist vibes um, and like, how do you say that? Waldorf, Waldorf toys, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, they have very, very natural looking toys that are very popular, very expensive. Knit dolls are not cheap. This one is actually from Anthropology. It is the brand Blah Blah. And this one is Mason Chic, which um, they're not sold at the same places, clearly. But I did lot them together for like $16 on Poshmark because I think that somebody will love these. And I love them. And if they don't sell, I'll give them to my niece. But I think they'll sell eventually. And then I did grab this Jimi Hendrix t-shirt from a... 
I listed it in Poshmark. I'll probably list it also on Depop because again, I just think that style's better over there. Somebody is listing this um, over on Depop for $30 and I only listed it for 16 on Posh. So I don't really know. We'll just kind of see. I just like to move items. I don't want to like sit on them too long. Okay, let's get in this bins haul. I spent $15, that was it. I did not get that many pieces, but I'm like happy with it for $15. I'll definitely make my money back. A lot of the pieces are summer pieces, which I actually have a bag going right now of summer stuff I'm collecting from the bins so that when it gets warmer here in a couple months in Georgia, I can take that into the consignment shop and have like first dibs on all the summer stuff and hopefully they'll sell quick. Okay, this is a Maeve top which is an anthropology brand. It's just a tank top. It's a very bright, like red color. And then it has like a little orange outline. It's just a tank. Probably paid around 85 cents for this. <laughs> so this was a new with tags loft dress, which this brand has been selling pretty good for me over at consignment. Luckily consignment, um, this consignment store particularly, literally has all ages so i'm selling some chicos some soft surroundings i'm selling <laughs> top shop zara like it's crazy and i'm totally here for it okay this is another loft top i just thought this one was really pretty weighs nothing perfect this was athletic wear which is also doing very well in the consignment shop it's just a reebok athletic tank top. I figured in January when everyone's working out, this stuff will be flying off the shelves. Okay, this is a swimsuit I got to put up. It's actually just by the brand Kepshi, which kind of has a little following, to be honest. It's not super expensive, but it has a following. And it's a full piece, which always go the fastest for me. It's a size extra large, great size. So... I don't know if she takes swimsuits. We're going to see. If not, I'll definitely list it on Posh. It's no big deal. I think I'll sell it regardless. This is a Lane Bryant tank top. Very pretty black and white cheetah print. Kind of has like a high low. I don't know. I just, Lane Bryant will do good over there also. Okay, I got this for consignment, but I did find a little bleach spot. I'm actually just going to keep it for myself because I really like it. It's by the brand Kinsey. It's just a little baby doll, peplum, lacy top like this. So, I'll wear it. Maybe. If not, I'll just re-donate it or something. Okay, this is another piece I got for Depop. It is a cropped M&M. You know, like the wrapper long sleeve top and it has on the back will the real slim shady please stand up <laughs> somebody's gonna love this okay so I had found on Depop um and I can totally do another video when I become more educated on this app but modeled items are what sells so I had my brother and my husband model the men's clothing and I will model the women's clothing but like a crop top probably won't model this. I don't know if I can style it right where my um, stomach isn't hanging out, <laughs> maybe, but we'll just have to see. I don't really know anybody that lives close to me that could model this kind of stuff for me, but I might just have to not model those really skinny little things. Okay. I actually picked this up for my son. I'm just obsessed with it. It's just a crew neck sweatshirt and it says, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, the whole alphabet, but they're little animals and it's just really cute. I figured he would like it. Okay, look. the next thing I got from the bins was this vintage swimsuit. It has a union tag on it, which is very great. And there's a size 12, which again is very great. I'm trying to make it like focus really well. It's not going to, but it's freaking gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this swimsuit. It has that like, I don't even know what they call this material, but it's very textured. Big scoop neck back. Um, there was an issue with like the 
lining down here but i'm gonna note that because it's all still intact somebody could definitely sew this and it would be fine and i don't think it's gonna like hang out or anything when somebody's wearing it but definitely will make note of that i think i can sell it for around 20 to 30 dollars next i got this bb shapewear um this brand isn't super super popular anymore but shapewear is popular, so I did grab it. I have a list on Posh for $10, which, you know, this, again, weighs nothing. So, great flip in my opinion. This is going to go into consignment. It's this Ann Taylor dress. It's like a gorgeous material. Perfect for winter. Has a fun little tassel. Ann Taylor, this dress was probably $150, seriously. Um... You know, Ann Taylor doesn't have a great resale rate, but super expensive in the stores. Especially the regular Ann Taylor, not like the loft or outlet. Okay, this is a men's Harley Davidson button down top. It has the embroidery on the back. I always grab stuff like this in good condition because I just like selling Harley Davidson. And I have it listed for like $16 on Posh. I grabbed this for consignment because she's been selling sequin dresses like crazy here lately because the holidays so I'm gonna get this one in before New Year's and hopefully sell it probably just around ten dollars but I'm okay with the flip I'll take five dollars for it for sure and then this is a new tags American Eagle sweatshirt it has the cut out and back and it's like rust colored it's a medium again in my Poshmark super cute this don't sell probably keep it <laughs> But I'm going to try to sell it first because money comes first. Oh, one more thing. And I grabbed this little tank top at the bins. It's like this fringe. It's pretty heavy too, like suede. It's just by the brand Soprano. Soprano. It's not super expensive. Um, I've seen this tag before. It's just, I'm not even sure. I, it might be at a boutique. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so that was my haul. It wasn't a lot, but I'm not disappointed in it. I'm super stoked about this, especially. So, no money lost in this haul, for sure. And I hope you enjoyed it. And everybody have a great Christmas. And thanks for checking in. Bye, guys.